Hey everyone, uh, I know it's been a while, but a lot of people were asking me if I merchant or what I like to merchant, and I thought I'd tell you guys about my merchanting experience and just some tips on merchanting. For those of you that don't know what merchanting is, merchanting is the basic idea of buying something and turning around and selling it for profit. Most people don't have a problem with understanding the buy and sell part of merchanting. What they have a problem with is what to buy and what to sell. I spent the last couple of weeks experimenting what are good items to merchant and what do people merchant often. And uh, I saw some similarities and I figured out some tips or some tricks that I like to use when merchanting. Even though I don't merchant all the time and I don't use merchanting as my way to mo make money, I learned how to use merchanting to make pretty good profits fairly often with little losses. And I'd like to share the things that I've learned from experimenting and just from what people have told me and so on. So uh, let's get started on that. I came up with four basic rules when merchanting. First one, only merchant things you need, will need, or want. Rule number two, don't risk more money than you're willing to lose. That's an important one. Rule number three, don't get too greedy. Rule number four, don't merchant anything you haven't researched. If you follow those rules and with a little practice, I think you'll find it pretty easy to double, triple, or even quadruple the amount of money you have now simply by merchant. There are a lot of things that you can merchant. As far as what should you merchant is completely up to you. Later on in the video, I'll show you some of the things that I've had luck with merchanting. But as long as you follow the guidelines or rules that I talked about earlier in the video, and with a little practice, you shouldn't have a hard time merchanting. Just remember that there are no guarantees and not all transactions will be profitable. Remember to do your research on an item before merchanting it or investing in it. A good way to do this is to look at the price history of that item. You can do this by looking item up on the Grand Exchange feature of the website. They provide graphs for each item, which is useful in predicting when is a good time to sell and buy. Typically, you want to buy when it is low and sell when it is high. Some of the most common things I've seen people merchant is rares, armor, food, runes, and weapons. I've tried merchanting all of those and I found that rares and armor has been the most profitable for me. Um, recently what I've merchanted is Santa hats and uh, looking at the graph you can tell that they've been going up and so I bought one and I was hoping that it would raise and uh, here's some screenshots of it raising over a couple days. And uh, I kept raising about one to two mil each day, which is really good profit. Um, the problem is I kept getting too greedy with it and I wanted to make more and more money. So I kept hanging on to it and I didn't sell it. And then it went down probably, I don't know, five mil. I ended up selling it and I still made about uh, six mil profit around there. But uh, if I sold it when I should have, I would have probably made around 12 mil profit. And... Uh, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, point being is you just kind of have to look at it and uh, buy stuff that you want anyway. I wanted a Santa at the time, so I decided to buy one. And I looked at it, and I saw that it was raising. And usually you want to buy when it falls, but uh, looking at this graph, it showed me that it was raising every day, and it didn't look like it was going to stop anytime soon. Um some things to remember, though, is uh, even though it's raising each day, uh, most likely eventually it will crash or go down just because it's raising. And usually the higher it raises, the higher it will crash or the faster it will crash. And, uh, yeah, one suggestion is if you're merchanting, especially rares, uh, set limits, meaning once you make a certain amount of money, sell it no matter what, even if it keeps on raising or... Uh, keeps on dropping or whatever. Uh, when you set limits, it's pretty hard to lose, I guess, because you got what you wanted out of it. And that's an important key factor. Don't try to make more money than 
as possible, I guess. But sometimes you can get lucky. And that's pretty much what merchanting is about, is it's pretty much a gamble. It's half luck, half uh, knowledge. But I'd probably say most of it is luck. Um, although research does play a, a role in it. Also, checking the forums is a really good idea. Uh, when I had my Santa, I looked uh, on the forums and a bunch of people were talking about the fact that it was probably going to go down. And uh, it actually did. So if I listened to the advice that some of the people had on the forums, I would have probably made a little bit more money. But that's okay. And uh, you just have to be willing to take the loss or take the gain. And uh, that's why I think it's you should only merchant if you have the money to. And I would not consider it a good way to make money because you're not 100% sure that you will always make money and you could lose everything you have. But uh, in conclusion, uh, if you follow those rules, I think you can find merchanting to be uh, a pretty good way to rake in some extra cash. And uh, good luck. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment or message me in-game and I'll try to answer them for you. Uh, Thanks for watching my video, and uh, hopefully it helped you.